Welcome to the Indigenous Health Program here in the Calgary Zone of Alberta Health Services. I'm Nola Watani and I promote awareness of suicide prevention. I'm on site here at the Elbow River Healing Lodge where Indigenous people in Calgary can find holistic health care. Join me on a little journey where we'll be visiting some of the people of the Indigenous programs and services here at the Lodge. Here's one of our clerks who'll be here to greet you, give you some information and book your appointments. Hi Blue. Here at the Elbow River Healing Lodge, clerks licensed practical nurses, registered nurses, and physicians are working hard to help Indigenous people with their health concerns. Here at the Elbow River Healing Lodge, traditional wellness has been incorporated into the programming. Ceremony, counseling, and healing take place right here in the ceremonial room. Let's go inside. Not far from the ceremonial room are the mental health interview rooms. Our team is working hard to deal with Indigenous people who are suffering the impacts of historical trauma. Indigenous hospital liaisons are located at the Alberta Children's Hospital, the Foothills Medical Center, the Peter Lougheed Center, and the Rocky View Hospital. Right here, of course, also at the Elbow River Healing Lodge. Let's pay a visit and find out what they do. Right now I'm coordinating a community consultation on wellness where we're asking the community what your wellness needs are. I also support the traditional wellness program which offers ceremony in all forms here in the Elbow River Healing Lodge ceremonial room or they also go off site and offer public smudges at the hospitals. It's beyond just providing a doctor. We have the social worker, we have traditional wellness, we have traditional medicine ac access, but it's really meeting their needs to what we need to get better. Because in, as Indigenous people, we never came to the doctor as a primary care service, as a prevention. We often came when we, we were unwell, but we lived our lives to be well. And now those roles have reversed where, where the only access point we get with health care is when we're very sick. When we're very ill and often it's, you know, can be, some things can't be reversed. So as a primary care centre, we need to still meet those needs of helping people have that access point of helping them get better, helping them, you know, get access to Western medicine and traditional medicine, but really start to teach people those basic teachings of, of being a Nitsitipi, as, as I am a Blackfoot, is really saying keeping yourself well for the long term. You do. I am a family counsellor. So I provide counseling services for the urban population and our team also goes out to a couple First Nations communities, uh, Morley and Eden Valley, and we provide counseling out there and also we um, provide youth groups at the school. I connect the clients to community resources that are culturally appropriate but first and foremost, I usually um, complete a needs assessment with every client or every family that walks into the clinic. Well, as you can see, our services are designed to address the four aspects of life, the mental, the physical, the emotional, and most importantly, the spiritual. Thank you for joining me on our little journey through the Indigenous Health Services in the Calgary Zone. <music>